In 1943, Thomas J. Watson, who was IBM's chairman at that time, predicted, I think there is a world market for maybe five computers. Luckily for the IT support industry, his prediction was obviously wrong. Just for the record, there are now over 2 billion computers connected to the internet, while 352 million PCs were shipped in 2012. Bill Gates, the co-founder of Microsoft, said in 2002 when launching the Windows tablet PC, Within five years, I predict the tablet will be the most popular form of PC sold in America. Gates was kind of right. He just got the timing and more significantly the platform wrong. Fast forward to 2013 and the iPad is the de facto choice for many tablet owners with Apple boasting about 40% of the market share while Microsoft struggles to make a dent with only 1.8% of the market. Ken Olson, the founder of Digital Equipment, said in 1977 there is no reason for any individual to have a computer in his home. On the face of it, Olson was obviously way off the mark, with the home computer scene subsequently booming in the 80s, 90s and onwards. But could his prediction come true one day? With the explosion in sales of tablets and smartphones, there is a very real risk that the traditional home computer could one day become a thing of the past. PC sales in 2012 declined by 3.2% compared to 2011, the first annual decline since 2001, while tablet shipments surged by 142.4% year-on-year in the first quarter of 2013. Steve Jobs, the late CEO of Apple, said in 2003, the subscription model of buying music is bankrupt. I think you could make available the second coming in a subscription model and it might not be successful. The prediction proves that even geniuses like Steve Jobs can sometimes get things wrong. It's especially ironic considering it was his own iTunes service launched in 2007 that showed the music subscription market works really rather well. To date, iTunes music sales have generated $8 billion for Apple, with its service accounting for 29% of all music sales. Another prediction by Bill Gates, this time made in 2004, was, two years from now, spam will be solved. Unfortunately, however, he repeated past mistakes when making statements about the future of technology. Alas, the problem of spam isn't anywhere near being solved. Research shows that 14.5 billion spam messages are sent out each day and that it accounts for 45% of all emails, with the cost in wasted time and resources to business set to increase to $198 billion annually.